This morning breakfast is oatmeal with maple syrup, raisins, cinnamon, and some coconut flakes. Good morning! Alex and I are back home in British Columbia after our two-week trip to visit my family in Michigan and Toronto and we had an amazing time. It was so nice to be surrounded by all my family. I've got a really big family there, lots of cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, my brother, everybody really. And I really miss everyone when I come home. You know, I get used to being there again, being surrounded by my loud, loving Italian family. And then I come home and it does seem a lot quieter and I miss everyone for sure. Um, but it was really, really nice to just spend time with them and to just enjoy family time. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go away from my normal day-to-day -day life, even if it's just for a weekend, like basically going anywhere other than the place that I live, I look at my life so differently and I just tend to reflect and think about what changes I want to make or I just get inspired for doing things differently when I come back home and that's exactly what happened this time as well. I also have been kind of reflecting on how much things have changed for me since starting YouTube and how much the whole experience of YouTube has changed me in many ways and in positive ways. The biggest thing is just that it made me realize that facing your fears can really be a good thing and can really pay off. And I feel that YouTube has definitely built my confidence in many ways and made me realize that, you know, putting yourself out there doesn't have to be that scary of a thing. And it's okay if people criticize you or judge you or, you know, say comments that might seem hurtful. Like, you will be okay and you can get past that and learn to just realize that, hey, people are gonna have opinions and you can't control what every single person out there thinks of you. All you can control is the energy that you put out there and the intent that you have. And so my intention is to, you know, put out positivity. I try to talk about things that will hopefully, like, uplift people and inspire them in some way and if other people want to say you know mean things then it's not really something that I have too much control over but that's definitely been something that I've definitely learned from and grown from. Another positive thing about starting YouTube for me is that it's been something that I've been committed to for a year and a half and for me that really feels great and I'm really proud that I've stuck with something because in the past I tend to be someone who you know finds something that I'm really inspired about tries it for a bit and then is on to the next thing or maybe get distracted or not 100% committed but because I love YouTube so much I've actually stuck with the videos and it does take a lot of work certain videos like editing and finding music and uploading it it can take like half a day to make a video or sometimes a full day depending on the video it's definitely a lot of work to make like a three minute video sometimes but i really enjoy it and it's been cool to see that i've actually stuck with something for this long i'm curious to hear from you guys out there have you ever uploaded a video of yourself onto youtube or if you considered doing a YouTube channel and stopped yourself, what's the reason? I'd love to know, like if you guys want to share that, what's the reason that you have decided not to go forward with it or maybe prevented yourself from starting your own YouTube channel if it's something that you want to do? If YouTube is something that you really want to do and you have a particular fear around it, I really encourage you to face that fear and to push past it because you never know on the other side of that fear could be something that you really really enjoy and love to do and uploading videos might be a real passion of yours if you try. I'm thinking of going on an extra long walk today just because I've missed these walks. I haven't done it for over two weeks and I brought my iPod and I'm going to listen to a Greg Braden audiobook. I have a lot of um, Greg Braden audio files on my iPod right now. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of him, but 
he's really, really fascinating. It's basically, well, he talks about a lot of different things, but one of the things that he talks about that I really like is the mind-body connection and how like energy affects the human body and basically um, you know about people who have healed themselves of different things and I don't know he just talks about a lot of different things and I just find it all very interesting I like that stuff a lot another person who I really like to listen to and watch videos of um, in that same genre is Bruce Lipton I really really like his stuff he has some really amazing books if you are into that kind of blending of spirituality and science. I think it's super interesting and it's also very positive. It's A lot of it is about love and positive energy and happiness and that is right up my alley. So this was kind of a random chat video of just things that are going on in my mind and in my life that I want to share with you guys. So let me know if you like these kinds of videos. Give me a thumbs up down below or leave me a comment. Um, I love to hear from you guys always. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm sending lots and lots of love your way and I will see you in my next video. Bye!